we came to L, which is a very beautiful Sri Lanka town and maybe the most famous one. It's also quite rainy and quite cold. It's not 30 degrees, but 20. Still, we like the town very much as it is quite modern, hipster, full of great cafes, night bars, bright souvenir shops. I think it is one of the most stylish Sri Lanka cities and the most understandable for the European tourists. Everybody comes to Ella because here you can walk, not only ride, but even walk to many beautiful nature sites such as Nine Arch Bridge, different waterfalls and tea plantations. But let's dive a bit deeper into Ella's history while walking along its streets. I'm sure you will like my walk. Here we're going to spend three days. And don't forget to subscribe to me to see where else in Sri Lanka and around the world we are going. So, Ella. The name Ella itself has historical roots, believed to be derived from the Sinhala word Ella, meaning waterfall or water flow. The origins of Ella trace back to ancient times when the island, then known as Ceylon, was inhabited by indigenous people. Throughout the history, the central highlands of Sri Lanka, where Ella is situated, have played a pivotal role in the island's cultural and economic development. The region's fertile soil and favorable climate made it ideal for agriculture, particularly the cultivation of tea, which would later become a cornerstone of Sri Lanka's economy. During the colonial period, the central highlands of Sri Lanka came under the control of European powers, primarily the Portuguese, Dutch and British. So you can see a lot of traces of European architecture here and all over Sri Lanka. It was the British who made significant contributions to the region's infrastructure, including the construction of the railway network that would later connect Ella to other parts of the island. So as you see, the first day we are just going around the city because we came from Unawatuna, I have also a video about it and the road was about six hours, it was very long and very tiring. So first day we are just going around, watching uh, beautiful buildings, eating and relaxing. And the second day we are going to visit Nine Arch Bridge. So today we are going to the Nine Arch Bridge. There is no need to take special excursion or to go by a motorbike because it is just a 40 minutes walk on foot. Uh, just a little hiking, but it's okay. And the Nine Arch Bridge, also known as the Bridge in the Sky, is a marvel of engineering and a prominent landmark located near the town. It is the most famous, to my mind, yeah, site in the whole Sri Lanka, so we couldn't miss it. I will make a special video about the Nine Arch Bridge. Now you see how the train is coming, it is the most interesting part. And we were quite lucky to catch a train because they are not actually so numerous here. This bridge was constructed between 1919 and 1921 and it was built to connect the railway line between Ella and the Madara Elowin trains to traverse the deep ravine that separates the two hill sites. Of course, there are always a lot of tourists taking photos, making videos, and the scenery around this bridge is also very beautiful. I like this site. The third day we are going to Ella Station Railway. 
uh, because we need to learn about the tickets. Next day we are going to Novara Elia. And also we have found uh, a peculiar tea plantation on the map near the railway station. And we is going to visit it too. You see this plantation is free of charge because uh, for visiting some plantations you need to pay. But this is free and uh, it is not worse than the paid one I think because it is very beautiful. And there are even some friendly locals uh, who are gathering the tea and they even show us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So we continue our walk thinking about how beautiful Sri Lanka is. And Ella, of course, as it has become a popular destination for both domestic and international tourists seeking respite from the urban grind and a chance to immerse themselves in Sri Lanka's pristine wilderness. The village has managed to retain its rustic charm and laid-back atmosphere, offering travelers a glimpse into a simpler way of life amidst breathtaking scenery. Today we are also going to visit Ravana waterfall and we need to catch a bus for it, which is very cheap and the road is uh, about 6 kilometers. It is quite a mountain road, so of course it is not comfortable to go on foot, but the bus is okay. Yeah, now I'm going to show you Ravana waterfall. We watched it on the way to Ella and look how many monkeys are there and <laughs> tourists making photos of them and giving them food. Yeah, the waterfall is here. It is beautiful. I like it very much. I'm a bit afraid of monkeys because in Cambodia they tried to kick me uh, one monkey jumped on my shoulders and it wasn't funny at all actually but here they are not aggressive they are quite nice and seems that people actually like monkeys more than the waterfall but not me i like this waterfall very much we bought here some corn to eat and we are heading home it is the last day in ella and we are going to pack our things a bit and we have some plans for the evening. By the way, give this video a like if you really liked it and write a comment if you have something to say or to ask me. And we are going into Ella's nightlife. This town is very beautiful at night too. It is so vibrant and full of life because there are a lot of foreigners ready to spend money, ready to relax, to have a drink, to communicate, to share cultural experience. And it is actually very great. It is what the travels made for. And we are going to have a dinner with uh, two uh, people from Bulgaria, a man and a woman. Uh, they are about our age and uh, we met on the street and uh, decided to have a dinner together and to communicate because we were interested in it. So we're sure that Ella is a must visit for everybody in Sri Lanka because it is beautiful and vibrant and has a lot of sites to walk to and to explore. And not so hot as coastal towns, by the way. 
So now it's morning, it's time to leave Ella and we are going to the railway station. We want to take a train to Nuwara Elia and it is said in Google that it is one of the most beautiful railways in the world. So this time we are going to buy first time tickets with reserved seats uh, because we traveled in the second class train and it wasn't that fun. <laughs> you can watch my video about it. Uh, you can buy train tickets just before the train arrives or you can reserve them in a special website. Of course, it is better to reserve beforehand, uh, but uh, it is a bit more expensive. Yeah, now you see our train ticket. It's about eight dollars for each, or maybe seven dollars. And uh, so we are going to catch the train and to enjoy the scenery before arriving to our destination. And here we noticed that there are even second class reservations yeah, and you see that there are different uh, exits for them. Uh, so the railway in Sri Lanka is quite a peculiar thing actually. <laughs> well, I remind you to subscribe to my channel not to miss our next adventures. And to give this video a like, because it is quite exhausting to always film something for you and then to make the whole video as I am making. Uh, so I want to have my little reward as you like. And now we're traveling along one of the most beautiful ways. So wish us luck. I think I won't show you this road, because uh, if you come to Sri Lanka, you must go and see yourself. I just want to share with you that it was really one of the most beautiful views in my life. See you in my next videos. Bye-bye!